can't act like I'm the, the shit. Because I'm not the shit. If I want to learn something from you or anybody else, I'm not going to learn anything pretending to be the shit. Pretending to like be, you know, the, the <laughs> hyper elite, the, the guy who knows everything, you know. If, if I knew everything, I wouldn't fucking be here right now. I'd be on the moon. To be okay. entirely fair, sometimes you do act like you know everything. Because it's not the way it really is. Yeah. It isn't. You know, sometimes I act like that without even, without even thinking about it. But in an acceptable, in, in an acceptable scenario, when there's when those the reasons why I interact with people, like you, for example, it's not. I'm not trying to impress you. I'm trying to learn things from you. That's my goal. I'm not trying to be, you know, a neo stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> so Loki, you do realize you could get a license through Slob Store if you yes, wanted. Yes, 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 yes. I don't care though. I got bigger priorities, okay? Right. Okay. Well, Even driver's license is not going to help me where I'm actually driving. Okay. Because I can drive just as, just as fine as I do without a license. Okay. Um, I was actually hoping that you would get at least a California ID or a, a passport so that, you know, we can visit my mom at some point. So, as, even if that's not relevant to your overall goals, I do want both of my parents to know you. And you will be the first boy I have ever brought home to meet my mother, so. In another country. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure, sweetie. <laughs> With laws that are freer than America's, you might consider that. <laughs> Yes! Yeah. <laughs> I definitely feel like there are alternatives. Switzerland. Like There's a couple of countries that there are much freer laws in America. A lot. <laughs> and Switzerland is actually, it's pretty great. I mean, yeah, the whole country's a glorified shopping mall, but... Let's sit down. Yes. Yeah. Grab a chair, Luke. They're all full. Ah. Just grab one and pull it over. Yes. Just, yeah, just grab one and then pull it over here and sit with us. Come sit with us, young lad. Well, he doesn't look his age, so that's good. He looks much older than his age. Everyone says so. I look at least 23. You look I mean, like I was going to say yeah. 22. But that range, I was going to say, oh no, he's day 20. Half the kids at, at Job Corps thought 25. They were like, how old is he? And so Loki would say, I am older than God. And well, then I, I kind of ruined it by, after he turned 18, I started referring to him as jailbait. So I kind of ruined that for him. I love you, care about old. But he need, But he needs his, he needs his super ego to be strong, so... He needs that god complex. Oh he needs that might. I was raised by a guy who had a god who had a god complex. Okay. No shit. No, oh, don't, don't even start about my dad. But my point is, <laughs> it's just it's okay. There's no communes here. We understand. <laughs> I'll do the secret handshake. I wasn't <laughs> going to go on a rant. I'm just agreeing with you. Luke. I was waiting for the rant too. <laughs> Seriously, I went on the ramp before he got here. I know, but I was waiting for it just so I could be, it's okay, man, we got the secret handshake, it's all right. <laughs> I went on the ramp before you got here since it took you like two hours to get here. It's okay, sweetie. <sighs> so, um... I don't want to, like, not talk, not even. Yeah, that... We so this don't time want to have to go to, you know... <laughs> the implied bad place, you know, with a case of cheap beer and say, no, we're trading for our Loki back, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even bring the good stuff? No, we're not bringing the good stuff. We're bringing the cheap stuff to make you guys feel bad. <laughs> so, um, I've been studying a lot of things, and one of those things is, um, well, remote viewing. Oh, boy. It's... It, I, I feel incapable of it. Like, I, I barely understand it to... I, I'm still researching, of course, but... Yeah. So far, my understanding of it is somehow there's, like, a window in your mind that you're supposed to view something through. It, or in, any, in any time. Yeah. And this is what really bugs me, is because I have lost a lot of what I... a lot of my, um... my thinking power mm -hmm. in terms of, um sort of thinking out they're doing things outside of the box like I yeah. used to be able to sort of focus and like 
enhanced my my body yeah through like you know basically like motivation was so it was so like thorough that I could do things better than usual yes. if I focused on it mm -hmm. but I never really invested in anything in like trying to see things or trying to predict the future or whatever because I didn't really believe in it yeah but I don't really think that it's a bad skill to have and even if I might be wrong with something I think it could still be useful yeah. And I think it'd still be something interesting to help open up the re other areas of my mind. So, what I'm stuck with is the fact that I really can't even open up that area of my mind. Hmm. I feel like I'm trapped in a little box. I actually feel blind 75% of the time. I feel that I don't actually I don't actually see what other people see. And not so much like sharing perspective, but like inner mind. It's yeah. like my mind's eye is shut or otherwise clouded. Like, have you felt it was always clouded, or no, this is no. just in the last six years? This isn't like six the last years, two even. Or three years. Hmm. Wait, so is this pre-Job Corps as well? This is, as soon as I got to Job Corps, I started feeling like that. You know what, we were just talking about how, when I got to Job Corps, my personality shifted. <laughs> how the person that you know me as is completely different from who I am. Yeah, I can attest to that. This is yeah, a he's, lot brighter. Stranger jokes, <laughs> funny cartoons, all the, all that you know, the bunny ears, antenna. Yeah, this is not normally her. She's much more vibrant. The hair color is a lot different. It's <laughs> it's a lot more brighter. I can see I, it from down the street. I, I mean, actually don't know if Macy's will let me dye my hair pink again. But I did um, give myself <laughs> I did give myself the Psyx hair, which is a change. As soon as I got out of Job Corps, I did the Psyx hair again. So. This is definitely, and also I used to wear like, like this, yeah. and corsets all the time, mm -hmm. um, and I wouldn't be as as covered up normally as I am now, um, no. which actually I no longer have my corsets because the boning is is plastic and crappy, and they're seventy dollar mass produced corsets and they suck, but I can't afford corsets here, so. Well, why not? Why don't you borrow equipment from Colin? Tell him you'll give him free advertising. You will tell everyone on the internet to buy his stuff. Yeah, I will post, like, pictures of myself on Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook, MySpace. You could just buy a dummy and paint it up to look like you and put... That works, too, right? I look, I mean, she paint. could do that. I you have could make one. no artistic... You could make a corset. I have... I, I can't make a corset, sweetie. My sewing skill is not that advanced. It's not that hard. Uh, it, 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 Okay, look, look, look. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about literally just taking a bunch of, like, rods and then curving, uh, like, turning them in a certain type of way and then sewing <laughs> fabric along to no, the No, no, that is not. Ooh, that sounds that, That's not how you do the thing. <laughs> that, that sounds that's cool, so but I'm uncomfortable. Now, there's some gothic wear that is similar to that. I've seen it at Hot Topic, but the, the problem is, is because of the way that my figure is, the way that I'm shaped, it will kill um, me. <laughs> it's not that it will kill me, it's that it will bunch up, and this is the problem I have, this is why I end up tearing out some of the side boning for my corsets, is because otherwise they are completely unwearable for me. Um, because they're not built for my figure, the corsets are built for women who don't need corsets. They are decorative. So, yeah. Anyway, that used to be my style, would be, would be like bright red corset and petticoat set. Um, or, you know, bright pink or white corset with a black petticoat or something something like that. And lots of colored tights, and I used to wear my jazz shoes everywhere, too. Or, or four-inch heels, but I stopped the, the heels since I started walking around more, so. So it sounds like because you've gone into a more controlled, regimented environment that maybe the perception has changed of yourself, of your skill set. It's still there, it's just more that because in the environment you're, pro you're being programmed by your outer environment to be more limited, so you fit in line, so you can march lockstep to what they're talking about in Job Corps. Uh, it's absolutely like that. I mean, I, I already told you about how he's got six hours of free time after TCU on weekdays, and he could use that to jump off buildings he could use that to you know bounce off walls he could, <laughs> <laughs> sorry bounce off walls do parkour do free running run around do other things and instead he spends it in the basement playing minecraft 
or so. researching. The point is that you don't need to actually be the that novels, sedentary. Uh, by uh, Tom Brown Jr., who is a tracker. I've taught heard by about Tom Brown, but I've never been able to get my hands on anything like that. Hmm. I mean, the last week, oh, I spent pretty much. I stopped gaming entirely because I, I really just got sick of it, and I, I just started like researching massively. I, I downloaded a bunch of PDFs and I just I've just been reading. Wait, 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 wait. So the week the one week that I wasn't able to be with you at all was the week that you weren't gaming. Lucky me! No, he hooked into Cerebro and he learned where all the mutants were. <laughs> That's good stuff though. See, no. you did the Professor X thing. But seriously, though, I mean, when I'm with him, I usually have to bug him for attention while he's playing games and stuff, and then I realize, oh, wait, the week where I was at work and not able to actually spend time with him was the week he stopped gaming. That's awesome timing on my part. It's like when I call my sister and her husband picks up and says, she's in the shower. Click. Uh, thanks, style tone. I don't know what it was. It was a really, really good week, and I felt really focused. And I, I literally, I got so sick of gaming, I just, mm. so fuck it, you know, I, I, I honestly feel that this entire time, I've just been sort of, you know, and now that, I, now that I'm sort of closer to uh, doing what I want to do in life, mm -hmm. everything that I need to do to do it comes easy. Hmm. Because I, I feel like, you know, I, I, there's other ways to pass the time. And research is a great way. Yeah. Which is what I've been doing. You know, I spend I spent hours. I I almost stayed up till like like okay. On Friday I stayed up till five o'clock. Hmm. On Saturday I stayed up till five o'clock. And on Sunday, which is today, I don't know how late I'm gonna stay. I really I, because I'm not gonna have uh, class tomorrow. I've got a personal, so I'm not going to be showing oh, up gonna, on Monday. You're going to take a personal And then day? there's going to be class. There's not there's not, there's not, not going to be any class on Tuesday because it's like a holiday. Yeah. So I'm literally just going to go to the library, get as much information as possible, download more things, get in touch with people, just continue, you know, working through all this stuff. Go, go, go to a bunch of different websites. Like, there's like a whole bunch of websites related to what I'm working on. Okay. And I can just hmm, focus on that. And it's, it's amazing because... It feels a lot better than just spending all my time gaming. You know, and just spending. I mean, days simulators have like their that. place, but that's if they're simulating the right thing. But then you also have to test with your simulator. I literally game to pass the time. I don't do it if for anything related to what I want to do. It's literally hmm. just I'm bored and I've got nothing else to do. And that I'm makes waiting. me feel great since most of the time when you do it, you're actually with me. It, it feels great to know that you can't just pass the time being with me. You have to. Awesome. What do I have to distract myself from? I have to distract myself from the fact that I'm not accomplishing what I want to accomplish. And now I'm distracting myself from not accomplishing what I want to accomplish by studying what I'm going to accomplish. Were you? No. What I want is to live without having to follow people's rules, without people controlling me. Okay, now, no matter what, there's going to be somebody who you're going to have to bow down to. But I'm Even going if it's to be, yourself. Especially if it's yourself. Yeah, okay. this, that's, this, that's like, the you, whole point. You can't escape that. But yeah. what I want is, is, I don't want to have to wake up in the morning, put on a tie, and go and spend the rest of the day lying to myself. Yeah. Okay? Now there's a lot of, there's, there's a long way between what I want to do, mm -hmm. you know, and what everybody else wants to do. Yeah, obviously. But at the end of the road, I'm going to be able to accomplish more with other people doing things without being dependent on the system. So do you have a master list of those things you do want to accomplish? Yes, I do. I do. And that master list is growing. And in fact, it's actually grown massively. In fact, I could say that... I know how I want to die, and not just like, you know, how, I, how I'm how i going to be buried or whatever, but like how I want to end my life. But I can't say what I'm going to be able to do in the next 10 years, or where I'm going to be in the next 10 years. I can say how I'm going to so end my life. So you have that list narrowed down to 10 most important things that you need to research and to work on. Yes. I already have what I need 
terms of what I need to study and research. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the things that I need is not so much things I find online, but things from people. Yeah. Experience from people is a lot stronger than anything I can read. So I, when I'm out here sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. waiting for her or on the way to the library from TCU or whatever the fuck, you know, mm -hmm. transient, I talk to people, you know, and not just, not in like the awkward, creepy way, but like, you know, some some guy asks me for money or, you know, and if I have something, I, I give him some, and I learn something about him, you know, or there was some, there was an alcoholic guy, he smelled like alcohol on the bus, Yeah. okay, or actually it was on the train, and he literally told, he gave me like a bunch of life advice, okay, he was 51 years old, he was a multi-millionaire, not even kidding, he was, he was the head chef of this big, giant, elite, uh, airplane cooking service company, okay, he cooked food for, like, uh, the Motley Crew and, like, went to, like, rock groups and stuff like that, he didn't look like he did, like, he, he wasn't really, like, acting like it, but he told me, like, how do I put this? Basically, what it's like to get old. He told me, um, he told me that I, I, have, I have a lot to deal with and I have a lot of decisions to make. And he told me more specifically that in the end, which is, this is already kind of obvious to me, I already knew this, but he just reminded me of what I want in life. And in the end, it's not, it's not about the money, it's not about the paycheck. It's not about any sort of material possession. It is about, you know, what I've accomplished for myself and for, you know, just just overall my goal in life is to do things without... How, how do I put this? There's, there's like a word for it, but... Bounds, limits, restrictions, what? When I'm, when, when I'm an old man, I want to be able to tell a story about when I wasn't an old man. You said you didn't want to live to be old. I changed my mind. Okay. 30 years is not really very long. I'm glad you see that now. This, this conversation is really bringing a lot of things to light that have came recently. Like, literally over the course of three days. What else did you learn from the from this individual, though? I mean, it, was, it must have been a lot more than just... There was a lot more than being, that, but it's hard to age. explain. It's not just, like, aging and stuff like that, but basically... He told me, basically, how time flies once you're, once you're past 18, you know? That's true. But there, there's a lot more to it, and it's kind of hard to explain, but I, I find people like that. And I always I always learn from them. It's, it's not so much that I follow follow what they do or everything that they say, but there's certain things that they tell me that are life-changing, you know? I'm not, I'm not religious. I'm never going to be, you know? I, I, I respect religion, but I don't really like it. Um, and there's this one guy, you know, and he has a radio, and he's playing some Christian broadcast stuff on the radio, okay? And they start talking about Jesus, you know, as, as usual, okay? And in the midst of this, they start saying that Jesus was a leader, but they start backing that up with fact, okay? And it wasn't the fact that Jesus was a leader that was important, it was just how he was a leader that was important, okay? It was the fact that instead of just directly commanding everybody, he would hamper them. You know, he, hmm. he, would, he would respect them and treat them well. So that in his time of need, when, when he needed their attention or whatever, they would pay it. And it wasn't so much like a debt thing, but it's just like a respect thing, you know? And I've always found that today's leadership is... That's pretty. What are you making? Okay. Today's leadership is basically Thank just... You being a parasite. That's, that's all that leadership is these days. Is. There's some You're saying it's not al altruism, it's being selfish. So that's, that's what it sounds like you're saying. Yes, and it's bigger than that. It's literally, there is somebody who controls a group of people. Because he has control over, the, over how much money they get, pretty much how they run their lives. Because he is the boss of the company. Okay. 
Thank you. When they don't do what he says, they're gone. They're fired. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or they they get their pay deducted, or they get laid at they, they get laid off. Yeah. Okay. Even then, they still suffer because Mr. Blotty Blah doesn't have enough money to pay for this, or he he went over and he had a big splurge, so now he's got to get his bank account full again of the money that he should be paying his workers. Mm. Okay. Things like that. He is a parasite because he doesn't directly command or control the people. If he does control them, he controls them through fear. He controls them through pain. The pain of not having enough bills to keep the heat on at night or to feed your kids. That is the pain that he controls them through. Thus, he is a parasite. Because a parasite, if he's going to control a person, it's not going to be in a good way. He is living off of them. And that is what leadership is today. Leaders get all the special benefits, you know. This, this, this is reflected in Job Corps as well, is there's this organization. The SGA, yeah, and the SGA. they get they get to do all the cool things. They get they get the pizza at the end of the pizza party. They get you know the food the food at the end of the prom and all that. And we literally walked into the gym at the end of prom, right? And they were like, and and this one girl in the SGA looks up and says in a real bitchy way, um, "This is for SGA. Bye." Okay, why was the gym door open then? You know, why wasn't it closed so you can enjoy your private party? privately why are you flaunting this at us what benefit could this possibly have they're literally having a fucking feast okay okay you want to know what they did with the rest of the food this is reflected in multiple scenarios okay is not not just in job corps but in the general u.s government is or actually really most governments these days is people get a regulated set amount of something of a resource of money whatever it is you're talking about communism they get a they get a they get a set amount of it. No yeah. matter no matter what. That's the crux of communism. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then the leaders, they get how how much fucking they they get as much of it as they want. It's like 1984. Because they control it. Yeah. They control it because they control everybody. They control the resources and they control how much they get. Okay. So the guys in Job Corps are puppets. They're not actual real leaders. They're taught the way that they would be if they were real leaders, okay? I don't think that it's right that somebody who sits behind a desk all day and answers phone calls and bitches at people about laws and regulations deserves to get paid over... 22 an hour. Loki, actually, this brings up an interesting point. Now, as you know, I'm working the docks at Macy's. It's manual labor. It's eight hours a day, you know, unloading crap, putting crap on on stuff, unpacking crap, and moving crap. Okay, I work with a lot of crap, and I'm on my feet for eight hours a day for minimum wage, which is 10.15 an hour. Now, my CTS sent me something for an interview for a desk position, data entry, which is basically clickety, 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 that pays $12 an hour. My father says that Job Corps pays their workers 22 an hour to basically sit on their ass and clickety click. They don't give a shit about any of us down here. Okay? Now, you've heard, you've heard this, this argument before. And the politicians... 99% thing. Okay? And it's the politicians can vote to raise their own pay, which really isn't fair. Exactly. Because they have control over everything. They have control over the resources. They have control over the people who control the resources. Okay? They run the show. And then... Everybody is expected to follow them and be led by them. When they're not doing anything productive for the rest of us. <laughs> it's okay. I know. <laughs> they don't deserve to lead. The person who deserves to lead should be the person who's actually leading. Who's actually at the front of everything. Okay? It should be... It shouldn't be the lazy-ass general in the back who's surrounded by tanks and special defenses. Okay? It should be the poor, miserable little sod who's running in first, the first meat grind in the battlefield, who's going to get shot and blown away, and then the guys behind him are going to take his place afterward. Okay? Everybody else should do better, twice as better, than the, than the first guy did, and then twice as better as the people who are after him, and so on and so forth. And then eventually, when Mr. Bitch-Ass General gets over there, <laughs> He's not going to have like, either one of two things is going to happen. Either he's the war is going to be over, the fight's going to be over, the battle's going to be won, or he's going to be fucked because his true potential is going to be revealed. That he's nothing but a shithead. Exactly. 
okay? We should be the strongest, not so much the strongest as in financially or resourcefully strongest, but the people who are most, most willing and most capable. Not resource-wise, not money-wise, not control-wise. Those capable of making sacrifices. Yes. In the name of trying to be victorious, correct? In the name of helping others. And victorious, why key. not? Okay. That's should the key be difference. The people who are literally dressed in rags at the head, of the, at the vanguard of the army. Mm -hmm. The peasants with their hoes and a little scythes, you know? Because they see everything. They see everything first person because they're the first people to see it. They are ahead of everybody else. They are leading the army. And they may and be the first should. to die, but the people behind them will see what they did, and they will do better. Not do as I did, but do better than I did. And if the government was ran like that, if society was ran like that, and the leadership of the world was ran like that, I think the first year bubble with Russia's run like that. It's not a bad idea. No, they've been doing that. That's how they're top tier. That's how Russia is run. So why, that why is that first thing is bubble? Why is that a bad thing? Can you explain uh, because it? Because right now, we have what used to be a KGB grunt in charge. And he's a little scared because most of the people that used to work with him, they're retired and gone. They gave up the fight. He's the only one left. I'm not talking about like a. I'm not, not talking about a person who has experience working in an organization, who has been slowly rising up the ranks. That's rising up the ranks. I'm talking about literally the poor little scumbag at the bottom he of everything. He was that guy at one point. Everybody a is lot that guy of, at one point. of every every so, person. Uh, some leaders, like Castro, just walked in. Okay, some people get, get handed, <laughs> some people get handed a lot of money, yeah. or some people cause a rebellion and then they they force them their way up to the top. Okay. But I'm talking about people who haven't done that. I'm talking about literally the guy who commands the rest of the army. Sits down at night. Okay. While everybody else is eating off of metal bowls and everything like that, he is literally eating out of either a styrofoam can or and literally he, he sleeps on racks. But when he wakes up in the morning, if somebody tells him that if, if he tells somebody to do something, they do it. Because he's already doing it. Or he has been doing it. Not because he has the most money, or because he has control over their paychecks. I'm not talking about a guy who has experience in anything more than doing also what, like other, what he wants other people to do. The Civil War as well. Because that's what got respect of one of the generals on the Union side was he never brought himself above being a lieutenant. He should have been a general. They call him a general. You look through the record, he was a lieutenant. He slept on the same bunks as everybody, ate the same food, didn't get the special food. Same exactly. thing. Exactly. You had no benefits. Yeah. Because but it's like we've really lost that. Yeah. <laughs> and that that is what I saw when they were talking on that radio, that radio intercom thing about how Jesus was a leader. Because he didn't set himself away from everybody else. And it's not because he was Jesus that made it unique. It was because of how he did it that made it unique. Okay. That, if I'm going to lead anything, if I'm going to create an organization, that's how I want it to be run. I don't want special benefits. I never got involved in the SGA because I don't want to be a fucking puppet. I don't want to be a pawn being controlled by a bunch of other people. Because I'm already controlled enough in job, or as it is. And so what if I get special benefits for being involved in that shit? And not everybody's involved in the SGA, is it so? No, like, we <laughs> avoided being involved in SGA. I, I even didn't really vote. I was like, I was like, okay, well, I know this guy, I know this person, I know this person, and what the hell, you know? But I was actually going to going to see if, if Loki wanted me to campaign for him for the SGA when, you know, after prom, when we saw, oh, hey, SGA gets all this crap, you know, might as well. And, and then Loki's like, no, I don't want to be a leader. And I'm like, oh, okay. Leader. Well, you can be. Parasite. Well, yeah, you can be a leader without like having a badge and a funny hat. But where do those people get to? In a society that's that, focused on leaders that are wearing badges and funny hats. Hmm. Where does they get somewhere? Because they are content that they're serving the people and helping the people. That becomes their focus. 
because the minute you're trying to look for but a sunny hat in a get bag, anywhere. You want to know why? Because the everybody people else. they're serving, they get somewhere, right? They don't get anywhere in making a big difference because everybody else is using tricks and gambits and getting all the money that they need to survive. Well, this guy, he's not doing any of that. He's trying to run a movement. He's trying to, you know, get this building built up for the homeless or whatever. Yeah. But he doesn't have any money because he's not kissing people's asses or converting people to make money for him. He's not. He's not. He's not rigging the system to his will like everybody else does. So, so he what gets if nothing. he's content helping the people, and that's then, where his joy is coming? Sure, he gets joy in that, but yeah. he's not going to have anybody help him with that because he doesn't have the money. Because this, this is a money-oriented society. But what if other people also share that joy? See, one thing I've noticed is when you first, when we met, when you came to me with your life goals, and you you said, okay, there are other people like us, but then um, in... June, July, August, September, you were like, oh my god, there's other people like us! And I'm like, yes, I know. I've known this, you know, for quite a while, but it's like you don't really believe that other people can share the same passion for life. Now, there are a lot of people who are corporate drones, who have been brainwashed by society to think, you know, how to work for society rather than think of how society works for them. But there are also people who share your passion, who share your enthusiasm, and who have a deeper knowledge base than us, whom, from whom we can learn, and who can, as, as Ralph has been doing, can sort of guide us, you know, towards pinpointing what it is that we want, you know? And those are actually the kinds of people that I've been trying to introduce you to. And that, those are the people I've found online that I've gotten involved with and I've gotten mm -hmm. research from. These are the people... There's lots of those people, I agree with you. I didn't really think that before. I thought I was a lone wolf, literally. Of course you were. There's I knew that a whole from bunch the start. of organizations out there. But they haven't really been getting very far. And it's not because they're not doing something right. It's because of just how they are, how the media looks at them. Here's, here's another way to look at it. The symbol you carry there. Uh, it's just... Oh, I necklace. gave that to him. That's the... Remember when I talked about the necklace yeah. that I literally tied onto his neck? Yeah. That's that one. But it talks about... It encapsulates who you are right there. You want to help. There's the condasis that is a symbol of the two snakes that heal. But there's also the wings for freedom. And then there's the blade there, too. Because you do want to fight. You do want to press through and get things done. So I just thought that was a little interesting thing there you had the necklace. That, that pretty much is you right there. Thank you. I never really thought of it like that. Yeah. So, I mean, there's, it seems like you're finding that road. I mean, it obviously splits in places, but the more knowledge you gain, you're going to be able to see which roads you want to take because there's multiple ways to get there. There's not just the two paths, the Obviously. robot or the complete free thinker that's walking off into the sun. There's multiple paths. So, just keep walking. I didn't come here to, you know, say, oh, I, I have accomplished everything I need to. Can I... Realistically, walking into the sun would be a very bad idea because he's photosensitive. <laughs> yes, <So>. exactly. <laughs> Wasn't there a hood to that jacket? There yes, is. there is. Okay. Back over here. It's, it's hidden by his hair. Oh. I actually had to sew it on because he kept on buttoning it. Okay. It kept on falling off at different, at different intervals, so it's kind of worried about it just like randomly flying away in the wind or something. Like your ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I haven't gotten over that, by the way. I know. I know. Well, the next one I get you, you're going to wear and it's going to be stay on your hand yeah they're attached some chains to it you know some coils and all that maybe it's just like you know i actually had another bracelet threaded through the lock on this one oh um to keep it on and then i realized wait i've got i've got an adjustable crappy little ring that i can't really wear on my finger that much and it's heavy and unwieldy let's use it to lock this chain to my wrist so that it stops falling off and so that you know when I go like this I don't have to spread my fingers to make it stay because it, it's something Loki gave to me and it means a lot to me and I'm glad you saw that in in the sword snake 
wing thing. I, a lot I of mythology it. reading, a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, that's how. <laughs> like, the first time that I changed my name on, on Facebook, um, you picked up on it immediately. You're like, hi, yeah. hey, this works for you. And I'm like, I know, right? And that was actually years before I met you. So. Oh. The phone's starting to burn my face, so let's move somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> South Africa, yeah. I have relatives that go there a bit, but not me personally. No, 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 I'm good. Uh, I'll, li I'll leave my country traveling to languages I can speak. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so... What all... Do you know any alternate languages? Uh, no. I actually kind of want to in the future. But I'll, I'll probably learn Spanish or something. Ew. And you know what? I'm around a lot of people who speak Spanish. I might as well learn. Ew. I take the exact opposite approach. It I'm like, be useful. It hurts my yeah. ears, though. Just like, be, Just because they're loud and annoying and kind of stupid sometimes does not mean that they're bad people to be around. And it's not, that's not all of them, either. There's, no, there's plenty of them who are... No, I'm saying normal. that the language itself hurts my ears. It sounds so ugly to me, you know, but that's probably because the languages that I'm used to are very melodic and very beautiful, so... Well, it's, it's also because we're around a lot of people who are really not good people to be around. Mm. Who, who are like that and who speak that language. And it's not, it doesn't reflect, you know, the overall culture. It just reflects how they are themselves. America doesn't have a culture. I'm not talking about the American culture. I'm hey, Loki. Like... Loki, what's the, what's the difference between, between a bucket of yogurt and America? If you leave a bucket of yogurt alone for 200 years, it'll grow a culture. <laughs> Let's cross. Yeah. Trying to get squashed. <laughs> yeah, Frogger. Okay, that really dated myself because I actually do remember Frogger when it came out in 2600. I remember like 3D Frogger. Oh. It wasn't bad. <laughs> like, there was, there was the pixelated Frogger and there was like the, the low res, you know, interactive Frogger version of the game. Yeah. So how'd you get into Minecraft? I was bored. Oh. Yeah, Don't that, that's people how normally pick up checkers and chess or, or See, I picked up that too, some... but I was bored. He's really, really bored. good at chess. Oh. He's yeah. I have experience over those types of things, but it's not like I could play chess all the time and I usually had to have an opponent, so I couldn't always have an opponent. It wasn't like I was about to carry a chess board around with me all the time. It wasn't like I wanted to play chess all the time. Oh. Oh, but you want to play Minecraft all the time. Not anymore. Right. Thank